to Chicago in the famed Aragon Ballroom for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Good block by Smokin. Targeting that overhand left. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook. Kid Dynamite's putting forth a little boom, 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 a three-punch combination score. Way through round number one. Smokin scoring with that right hand. Good job. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Kid Dynamite. Lands flush with the two punch combo by Smokin. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Pulled the trigger on that overhand left. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Super two punch combo by Smokin. And oh, what a good strong uppercut by Smokin. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Kid Dynamite. Nice! Nice! Scored well up top. And we come to the end of round number one. Kid Dynamite's approach is to score from the outside. That's already shown itself early on here as he scored to his opponent's head. Smokin's able to avoid that punch. Kid Dynamite's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Good clean shot, returning fire, well done by Smokin. Scored well to the body again. Nice strike after catching one by Kid Dynamite. A huge uppercut by Smokin. Well targeted two punch combo by Smokin. Targeting a left hand to the body. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Kid Dynamite. Halfway through round number two. Little head hunting with the left. Good flush shot by Kid Dynamite. How about a return to center with the left hand? Takes one to give. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Kid Dynamite's rock, and his defense is porous right now. He could go down at any moment. The problem is he's got the habit of block. Wow! He just fought the other guy's fight. And now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. Stand up, stand up. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's gonna have to grab on, kill a little time. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Left to the body. Oh, that's good stuff. 
fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Kid Dynamite. Well targeted left hand by Kid Dynamite. You're okay, don't worry. You're doing fine. A new round underway here. Kid Dynamite's hoping that he doesn't make a defensive flaw like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. See, that's where another set of eyes come in. That's where you depend on your corner. They're calm enough. They can see something that you didn't see, as hopefully the corner has told him what he did wrong. Block that punch. Circle, circle. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Kid Dynamite. One, one. He's got confidence he can crack, and he just did there. And he had the distance, Joe, the height that he wanted to set up that punch. Kid Dynamite's going for the big prize now. He wants to end this fight with the power shots. Yeah, he looks like a guy at work who has a chance to go home early. You know, his boys just said, hey, finish up here and you can, you can take half a day. He's going to get half a day today. Halfway through this round here. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. <sighs> He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. That's what I want to see. A stinging uppercut by Smokin. Scored well with the left downstairs. Last 10 seconds of round number three. You need to cover up. Let's get it. Stay tight and bang. So three rounds are in the books here. Kid Dynamite's up two rounds to one on Teddy's scorecard. Punch stats don't always tell the story, but in this case, he's been the busier man, throwing more punches. Yeah, but he's also had to do a lot more work just to keep his opponent off, him, just to keep him defensive. Does that hurt him as the fight goes on? Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter-punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Look at that. Trying to time that straight left hand, and he does so with ease. Kid Dynamite's gonna think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. Halfway through round number four. Not able to land the headshot. Keep moving, working the jab. Smokin's left now getting into the mix. Come on, get focused. Great work offensively landing that combination by Kid Dynamite. Smokin's dazed after that punch. There it is! How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. One, two, three. Get up. So he goes down but 
able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? All right. And he catches a lucky break. Saved by the bell here at the end of the round, Teddy. Yeah, right away you're thinking, you know, where do I spend my time right now? You want to tell him things that can help him, but he is really groggy right now, so you got to get him clear-minded first. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side. Smokin's heading out there for this round, hoping that his legs are under him Come the on, way they need to be. Him. He was dropped the last round. Well, he's going to find out. See, that's a good thing you just said, hoping. Well, he can't hope his legs are under him. He's got to find that out because if he goes out there and tries to use him in there not, he's going to fall all over the place, and the referee's going to stop him. His opponent's going to jump on him. So while the referee's counting, what he's got to do is test him out a little bit. So now you know how to go about surviving the round. Do you just stay on the ropes and move your head, or do you use your bicycle? Kid Dynamite's got a real knack for infighting, and right now he's getting an invitation to do as he pleases in these middle rounds. Yeah, he's not hesitating. Yes, and he's not hesitating. He's RSVP and right away and saying, okay, I'll take you up on that invite. Both men digging in with uppercuts. A knifing left hand by Kid Dynamite. <laughs> Kid Dynamite's fighting real smart here on the outside. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Hit Dynamite's well off the mark that time. Look at that combination by Smokin. He got hit right there, but he also gave one solid effort. Well, we've seen this before, a fighter with a bad cut, and sometimes a fighter that now has a much greater sense of urgency. Yeah, right now, if he was gambling, if he was in a casino, he's rolling the dice, he's hoping to come up with seven. Nice one, that was good. We have this one. Use your jab to get on the inside, then throw the right. But set everything up with your jab. The start of the sixth round. Kid Dynamite's out there for another round in a fight that he's been in complete control of so far. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Kid Dynamite's doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there's a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. Smokin's proving to be elusive. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Smokin. Wow, what an uppercut. Smokin's left, landing well. Good flush shot upstairs. Kid Dynamite's punch didn't come close. Sending out the power shot, it was a straight left hand. You're doing great. Now hugging on the inside. Hate yourself. Just an excessive amount of holding here. Just much too much clinching. Fine work with the double jab downstairs. 
Kid Dynamite's nose is now starting to bleed. That's a well-scored left hand by Smokin. And that's the end of round six. You know, so many times we will advise guests of ours sitting ringside to not wear white. Now you know why. Look at these two bleeding all over the place. Now you would suggest they bring an umbrella. I mean, it is that bad. Okay, listen. But he mixes with a punch. now we're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight you get the sense this one may not go the distance blocking that punch very good defense by kid dynamite keep moving keep moving move move move, move, move. keep moving around the ring close again gets rid of that effort off to the side a little swing and a miss going upstairs Smokin's got to figure out a way to do something different here. I mean, I know he's committed to being a counterpuncher, but right now he's giving rounds away. Yeah, he is because he's waiting for things to happen that are not happening. You know, he's he's laying back, he's waiting for the guy to walk in. See, to be a good counterpuncher, an effective counterpuncher, guy has to come close to you, but his opponent's staying at a distance. He's not giving him anything to counter. Good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Big, big shot he just scored with. And he took. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Nothing there on the punch by Smokin. the world Two, he just floored him with three, that punch short one four, maybe six inches four, five, six seven let's go get up smoking's able to get back up to his feet but teddy this is a much different story than when he survived the last knockdown now, this is a situation where he has to be taught how to handle this situation has he been taught in the gym there's no need to fight this start you're not gonna win that okay. Okay, listen, you can throw him off with head movements. That's it. Throw him off with head movements. Kid Dynamite's seen this fight go exactly the way he's wanted it to go. He's up big on your scorecard, Teddy, through seven rounds. And most of all, He's got all the gas left in the tank to finish up strong. Yeah, he's not looking for a petrol station. You know, sometimes you've been down a road a little bit and you start looking for that gas station. He doesn't have to worry about that. Smooth sailing. Smoking's showing us that he is willing to stick with the game plan. But, Teddy, that game plan saw him knocked down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him? You know, in some ways I'd tell him good because... You have to go with what you have. You know, you can't completely change. That's not possible in the course of the fight. You are who you are. So it's not the game plan necessarily, Joe, or the style that's wrong. It's the execution of the game plan. 
That has to be done better. To the head he goes with a left hand. to get away from that headshot with the block. He missed with that headshot. Smokin's inconsistencies are really showing up now. At times, he has shown defense tonight. Other times, with what we've seen recently, he's getting hit by the left hand. Yeah, what he has to do is now make the adjustment. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Kid Dynamite. Come on. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. And round eight comes to an end. You know, Teddy, I'm looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the dogs is going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. Kid Dynamite's approaching this round with the right look. He looks to be in pretty good shape. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Smokin. Left to the body. A razor sharp hook to the head by Kid Dynamite. Accurate with a straight left. Good work on the outside from him. And that was set up by his inside fighting early. A place where, quite honestly, I expected him to be all night long. But now he's getting the privilege. He's getting the luxury of being able to stay outside a little bit. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Kid Dynamite's combination punching is working well here. Good return fire that time. Good flush, straight left hand. Good fighting, snapping shot by Kid Dynamite. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Great hook to the head that time. He was waiting for his... And yet another big shot comes in. How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way. Two. Three. Four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. The ref stops the fight. Smokin' to knock out victim. He couldn't beat the count. Kid Dynamite, your winner by knockout. Now, I think he was headed towards a decision win anyways, but what a good way to just put a stamp on his evening. Yeah, bring down the curtain and make sure that more people are going to be talking about you when they leave the arena tonight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.